The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Nahum. To Judah, see on the mountains the feet of the herald. Peace, he proclaims. Judah, celebrate your feast, carry out your vows, for Belial will never pass through you again. He's been utterly destroyed, for Yahweh has restored the vine of Jacob, yes, the vine of Israel. Although the plunderers had plundered them, although they had snapped off their vine shoots. Disaster to the city of blood, packed throughout with lies, stuffed with booty, where plundering has no end. The crack of the whip, the rumble of wheels, galloping horse, jolting chariot, charging cavalry, flashing swords, gleaming spears, a mass of wounded hosts of dead, countless corpses. They stumble over corpses. I shall pelt you with filth, I shall shame you and put you in the pillory. Then all who look at you will shrink from you and say, Nineveh has been ruined. Who will mourn for her? Where would I find people to comfort you? And our response is taken from the book of Deuteronomy. Vengeance is mine. I will pay them back for the time when they make a false step. For the day of their ruin is close. Doom is rushing towards them. For he will see to it that their power fails that neither serf nor free man remains, for Yahweh will see his people righted. He will take pity on his servants. See now that I, I am he, and beside me there is no other God. It is I who deal death and life. When I have struck, it is I who heal. No one can rescue anyone from me. When I have wetted my flashing sword, I shall enforce justice. I shall return vengeance to my foes. I shall take vengeance on my foes. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Then Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. Anyone who wants to save his life will lose it, but anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. What then will anyone gain by winning the whole world and forfeiting his life? Or what can anyone offer in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he will reward each one according to his behavior. In truth, I tell you, there are some standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming with his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you.